Hello everyone. So welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we are going to cover the answer of the one of the frequently asked interview question. What is your contribution in the test automation framework? So in many automation interviews, when candidates go to answer this uh, question, they are unable to answer it correctly, right? Sometimes they tell that, yes, I am adding test. Sometimes they tell I'm writing scripts, I'm designing scripts, I'm developing scripts, but those are not the correct answer to this interview question. Whenever you get this question from the interviewer, they are looking for some sort of challenge that you have faced and the solution that you have provided at that particular time. So what we have done is uh, we will be discussing this question in detail, what you can answer, how you can answer and what you should tell when you get this question in an interview. And we would also like to share with you the digital product that we have created on the basis of this uh, doc on the basis of this interview question. So if you are getting this question, explain your contribution in the Selenium automation framework, test automation framework, then what all things you have to tell, right? So this is uh, the digital product link that will be uploaded on the top mid. And we will also share this link in the comment section of the video. The cost is kept at a very nominal amount, right? So anyone who wishes to purchase it can purchase it, right? So now let's look into the detail about this question and about the answer, what can be given to the interviewer, right? So you will get this question, whether you are uh, two to three years of experience, or if you have more than five, six or seven plus years of experience, people who have nine or 10 plus years of experience can also get this interview question. What is your contribution to the test automation framework, right? So now, See, your contribution is very crucial for interview. You have to ensure that you use the right words and you use the right techniques at the time of answering this question because the interviewer is seeking somewhere in the mind whether this person would be able to fit in our team or not, whether this person is good for this job or not, right? So you have to prove them. You have to sell yourself. You will have to do a good amount of marketing there. Right. So now let's start with the scope of contribution. Right. So you can start with defining scope of contribution, how you contributed. Right. So maybe you can start with uh, my primary focus was on some specific module or functionality that you can cover in with respect to your product, with respect to the project in which you are working, where you designed and implemented solutions to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of the automated test. Now, everyone is doing automation. Everyone is doing scripting. Everyone is doing development, right? But what makes you different in an interview? That's what you have to speak. So here I have given two examples also. So one is clear test documentation. So that means you are uh, maintaining a crystal clear documentation for automated test. You are including test case descriptions. You are including uh, any dependencies that you have used in the comment section whenever you write the code. Or you can also create a separate document with the help of which any person can, can be able to understand what has been done in the code. So generally, these documentations would be used by any new member, whether he is a fresher or experienced who would be joining the project. So there, this documentation would be very important because you cannot expect the person to start coding from the very first day, irrespective of how many years of experience he or she has. They need some kind of documentation to come up to certain level and then they will be able to contribute after getting hired, right? So this is one of the aspect clear documentation and see here I have given few of the examples. You can also add examples as per your needs and as per your requirements, as per your projects in which you are working, right? This is an idea that we have provided here compatibility of browsers. So let's say you can come up with uh, the issue that was reported by the client or customer that they were not able to use this functionality or this UI button was not been getting clicked on some particular Safari browser with this particular version, with XYZ version, right? This is a problem statement. So what did you do? You implemented a test strategy that covers different combinations of browsers and operating systems. How can you do that? You can do that by utilizing cross-browser testing tools. You can do that by using parallel testing. <clears throat> Sorry. Yeah. So that's how you have to explain in an interview. Okay. Now the different challenges that you can address. 
and you have addressed, right? So here we have covered a couple of challenges. One is flaky test. What means what does flaky test means, right? Sometimes the test scripts pass, sometimes they don't pass. You know, there are people uh, who uh, will joke on someone in the workplace. See, you have to, uh, you know, go to the temple and then you have to trigger the script. So those kind of things will you will observe in the workplace, right? But then that's fine. That's a humor, right? But then what is the resolution that you can provide for this flaky test or for this maintenance of things? So many a times what happens is the test scripts, the test suits are becoming so and so heavy that it becomes irrelevant or it becomes you know too much of workload for you it's it becomes an overhead for you oh man so many test scripts how many of them are running how many of them are not running right so what we will do is so as a part of resolution you can tell that you identified and you address the root cause of flakiness see uh, the role of test automation is not just to create the test scripts and to run them you know, you create them and you run. No, it's not a robotic thing. It's not an RPA thing. The role of test automation person is also to identify, to analyze the failures and to fix them, right? So that's how the entire your day should be spent. So identifying and addressing the root cause of flakiness, such as synchronizing issues, Sometimes you feel that environments are unstable. You know, you might have some uh, cloud VM that might be reaching to some 100% CPU utilization due to some antivirus being running over there, right? So those are the environment issues. So that is one of the unstable environments or poorly designed test cases. You have some test cases in which you have kept multiple thread dot sleep, even if it is not required, right? So those kind of things. Then... The second kind of resolution would be you have implemented retry mechanism for known intermittent failures. You know that sometimes it happens, sometimes it not. On Wednesday, it happens. On Friday, it does not. Right. So what you will do is you'll keep try catch mechanism. You'll keep retry mechanism there. Right. Use smart weights to handle dynamic elements effectively. This is the resolution that we have proposed for flaky test. Right. Now, second challenge that is for maintenance overhead. You know, sometimes the test scripts are so long, the test suit are so long, it takes a lot of time. It takes a lot of time to maintain it, right? You never know how many scripts you have to update because of uh, change in this particular XYZ feature, right? So those things, how it's a big challenge. It's a nightmare for an automation person. So how will you have that resolution? So you can tell that you have followed a modular and maintainable test design to reduce dependencies. So modular approach, you have break down your test in various modules. You regularly review and refactor code, right? Refactoring of the code is there. Maybe in uh, some best practices, they wear hats. So a person who is doing a review will wear a cap of uh, green color. And a person who is getting the code reviewed will wear a cap of white color. So that's a kind of the uh, live things that you can make it at a workplace and you can cheer up everyone because everyone will be scared in code review. No, this person will be finding my mistakes. This person is not going to accept my code. He will definitely come up with some key points, right? So how to make that environment live? So such kind of things you can incorporate as a part of resolution. Use version control systems to track. And these kind of resolution not only help the application or the systems, but it also improves the, uh, you know, the healthy state of the automation person itself, right? Such kind of things. Changes and rollback to stable states if needed. So you have few of the branches already available with you in which you have committed your code after thorough testing. And you can, again, take the code from that particular branch as and when required if you feel that the code in the new branch or somehow it has been broken, right? So these, how you can explain the challenges and apart from challenges, you also have to have the resolution because in IT companies, whether it's a managerial round or it's a technical round, leaders will never ever be happy with the challenges that they have. They all have challenges in organization, whether it's a small level, mid level, whether it's a high level or it depends on complexity level. Also, sometimes you have low complexity challenges. Sometimes you have high complexity challenges. All the teams, all the organization will have challenges, but you have to showcase that how you would be different in having a resolution for that challenge, right? So that is very important. Now let's discuss about the technical solutions. So sometimes, you know, the things 
that can help you in an interview is about the technical things because automation is again it's a technical level of interview right you might get this question in the managerial round you might get this question in the technical round also right so both the aspects that we have covered and you can use the slides you can use the answers that has been provided you can update them as per your convenience as per your your day to day role and you can give the answers whether it has been asked in managerial interview round question or it has been asked in the technical interview round question so technical solutions implemented so what you have to explain is you have to explain the technical solutions that you have implemented to overcome the challenges you have to highlight any innovative or any effective approach that you took so for example uh, we have given so to address these challenges i implemented specific technical solutions such as improving element locators parallel test execution incorporating design patterns like single turn or factory like these changes significantly improved the stability and maintainability of our test suite okay so uh, one more example can be let's say uh, for example you have a company in which you are working on one of the project and uh, their goal is to download the files from their uh, outlook drive or google drive and then they will be taking the data from those files and they will be performing automation right so this google drive integration that needs to be done from where the files would be downloaded this is something that was a requirement from the project itself that you incorporated it so you designed that particular code you wrote that code right now one more example can be uh, let's say if there is a customer who is looking for the output in the form of XML file, right? Now, how to integrate your automation framework with XML? You should have the output in the form of XML. Let's say it's, it's a project of e-commerce website in which they need at the end of the output, at the end of your regression suit, that what are the number of products, the name of those products, the current cost of those products and the offers slash discounts available on those products. So they are demanding for three to four columns as the output in the form of XML file. So that you would have created, right? So those kind of aspects you need to cover here. Okay. Then uh, any automation best practices that you have followed or introduced during your contribution. So for example, maybe uh, you have integrated some uh, code review tools like sonar lint or you have created a thought process for some code reusability or maintaining a clear separation between test scripts and test data such kind of best practices you have to mention here right now these kind of practices best practices when they are used they will enhance your framework they will take your framework to the next level right so it does not it will make your framework more easy to maintain, right? The maintenance cost is very less and it will also facilitate for the new team members who are recently hired. They will be able to contribute easily, right? Because of such things. Collaboration and team impact, right? So you can see a person here, right? It's a team effort. So both the other person are helping him and then he's putting the cable into the socket, right? So that's a team effect. So how you are a good as a team member right so you don't have to uh, worry about an individual contributor so that slides we covered uh, earlier in this particular topic itself right now as a team also right see it's very important that you have your role as a team member as well right you should not be someone who is just an individual contributor there is uh, advantage of being an individ individual contributor and sometimes you have to play a role of a team as well right so imagine uh, playing uh, like a Virat Kohli if he knows that two or three wickets have already fallen down then he will stay he will try to play with a calm shots and he will stay till the end we saw in many World Cup matches and then sometimes it's an individual contributor also during the T20 World Cup with Pakistan he was an individual contributor there right so that's how you have to explain so now with respect to QA terms, let's see what you can help have. So I collaborated closely with team members, developers or QA to align with automation efforts with the development lifecycle, right? So for example, here, sometimes you have to go with the cross team effort. So let's say if uh, you have already given a solution in your automation framework for some of the, uh, you know, challenge 
and you see that same challenge has been faced by the other project team members who are doing automation right then you can explain yes that we have shared the code we have shared this knowledge transfer with them and they can utilize this code right meanwhile you can also come up with some common methods such as performing the click on the button it remains common irrespective of whichever project you have irrespective of whichever button you want to click by automation right so that is again common method set text that is common coming up with few common uh you know um, get a set of methods right those again it depends common utilities maybe those you have contributed right so that's how you can explain results and achievements so these two things lessons learned and results and achievement these two things are very important now you took those many measures you gave full of your try you gave full of your effort but now what is the achievement what is the result so now comes the very important thing you have to quantify them you have to put some form of data some percentage some number game you have to play here right so as a result of these announcements we observed a percentage increase in the test efficiency or you can say reduction in the test execution time or improvement in overall test coverage so maybe earlier the test coverage was 15 percent now it got improved to 26 percent because of the complexity of the module that you were able to automate right automated tests became more reliable they were allowing us to catch defects automated tests helped us on sundays and working on weekends right they helped us to uh, do a release testing during the holidays time right let's say there was a release that was to be done on 24 to 26 december right on so so they helped us during the christmas time because everyone was on holiday right so such kind of things you have to tell lessons learned so it is very important see in an interview you might be going gaga about yourself right you might be telling yes i did this i did this but then you also have to tell that what lessons you have learned what things that you are planning to pitch in the next upcoming projects or next upcoming your line items right so those things you have to explain so this experience taught me the importance of lessons learned such as regular code reviews maintaining a comprehensive suite of automated regression test right keeping a check on the selenium updates keeping a check on the third party library updates right moving forward i plan to apply these lessons in the future automation projects right so this is how you can explain about uh, if this kind of question is asked to you explain your contribution in the test automation framework right so uh, this was a video that was created for the candidates to help them in an interview many a times they know a lot of technical knowledge but they don't know how to answer how to speak in an interview so that is very important and the document has been created the link of the document would be provided in the comment section also in the community so you can purchase that document it's kept at a very nominal cost less than the cost of a chocolate itself right so you can purchase it you can avail it and you can take an advantage of it and at the last don't forget to like this video share this video in your network and put a positive testimonial on top mate and let us know what other kind of documentations or answers you are seeking from us right so that's it for this video uh, please like the video because uh, it takes a lot of time it like takes a lot of effort to create such kind of videos and bring to you because these are real-time interview questions that would be asked to you right so thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates